Okay, so now on to breastfeeding. It's going really well. I have had a couple of times some um, very, very mild mastitis where there's like little red veins going up just because he's been finicky or hasn't wanted to eat and I just fill up and I wasn't smart enough to pump when I would get engorged. Uh, so now of course I'm pumping when I get engorged. <laughs> But nothing I needed medication for. I didn't get the chills. I didn't feel really sick. It just hurt. Uh, so it was very, very mild. Um, but breastfeeding for the whole is going really good. I am not getting painful let down every three hours like I was before. My milk is really balanced out. He has never done cluster feeding. So I, cause I've always had like a lot of milk. Um, so that's been nice because cluster feeding is really annoying. So he hasn't had to do any of that to bring in any extra. Um, I pump and I freeze it. I have a cousin who's adopting a baby and I've asked her if she would like my breast milk. Some people really think that's really weird and strange. So I don't know if she'll take it or not, but if she wants it, it's hers. Um, what else with breastfeeding? He just goes, yeah, one side, then the other. Mornings, okay, through the night, he's been going 10 to, well, sometimes nine, let's say nine to 11 hours through the night. Yes, and it's been consistent. So I'm just, just overjoyed about that. And at first my breasts would just be huge and hard and sore, but now enough time has passed that they're, they're not like that. They, like, I'm not waking up with really painful boobs, which is great. Uh, Cause it would take about half the day to get them to fill, to have enough milk emptied out of them to feel normal. So. That has worked itself out. In the morning, he doesn't really like to have a lot of food. So like his first day, he wakes up at 5, 5.30 to eat. He has a good feed. But then his next feed, say three and a half to four hours after that, isn't very big. He just doesn't have a big appetite for it. It's been really nice that I've been able to lay down and feed. I had a hard time doing that with Venix. So I've really enjoyed just nursing. just nursing him in the bed and going back to sleep afterwards has been lovely. I'm not getting the leakage that I used to, so that's great. You know, I can go through, you know, like one, like the nursing pads can last me the whole entire day because they're not getting soaking wet with a ton of leakage. My letdown has gotten a lot nicer, so he's not struggling as much when he eats. And yeah, my body's just working itself out. Now normally, I would, my milk supply would start to decrease as the child starts to sleep through the night. And so far, so good. It hasn't started to decrease. So I haven't, like outside of not filling up throughout the night, during the day there's still more than enough milk for him to have. So I don't need to supplement or anything like that. He um, is starting to teeth a little bit. So he's been starting to like gum on my nipples which makes me very nervous for when there's a tooth there. So I've been trying to tell him, like, you know, no bite, no bite. Because <laughs> it's just it's not nice, right? It's like my nipple is not a teething device. <laughs> we got to find something else for you to teeth on. That is not it. Uh, because he's so social and chatty, sometimes it's so precious. But he'll like stop feeding and he'll just, or he'll have like his mouth still there and he'll try to talk to you at the same time. And it's for the most part, it's really adorable. But for days, like I have to go pick my other son up from school or we need to go somewhere. It's a really frustrating because I'm like, yeah, let's talk later. Let's just, let's finish nursing. We got to go, right? Like with your first baby, you can take all the time in the world most of the time. But when you have a, I have to get my other children to school by a certain time and pick them up at a certain time and all those other things, or even to keep the other boys' bedtimes around the same, you know, try to keep be consistent with dinner and bedtimes. Um, those times that Trexton is really chatty, it's like, yeah, okay, sweetie, yes, yes, I love you too. Woo. Okay, feed, let's finish, we gotta get going. <laughs> but he just, it's just, for the most part, it's really cute and precious. And it's one of those things that I hope I, We'll have a clear memory of always because it's just, you know, it's very bonding and very special.